Admas 2010 question 1. Alison has 12 2 point coins, 8 1 point coins and 20 20 p coins and they have to weigh 320. Everything can be divided by 4. So 3x plus 2y plus 5z has to equal 80. Brian has 25 2, 30 1 and 15 20p coins and they weigh 660. This thing, time everything I'll divide by 5. So 5x, 6y and 3z has to equal 132. This time we have 18 50p coins. Well, their mass are two thirds of the two point coin. 12y and 27z and that has to be 393. 18 divided by 3 is 6 times 2 is 12. So 12x plus 12y plus 27z equals 393. And this time I'm going to divide everything by 3. I know I have three equations and three unknowns to solve and I'm going to eliminate y. So I'm going to multiply 3 by equation 1 and subtract equation 2. So I have 9x take away 5x, 4x, 6 take away 6 which is 0, 15 take away 3 which is 12 and 240 take away 132 which is 108 dividing everything by 4 3x plus 3z has to equal 27 this time I'm going to multiply equation 1 by 2 and take away equation 3 so I have 6x take away 4x 4y take away 4y 10z take away 9z and 160 take away 131. If I multiply this equation by 2 I have 2x plus 6z equals 54. I also know that 2x plus z is 29 and whenever I subtract these 5z has to equal 25 so z would equal 5. If z is 5 then 2x plus 5 is 29 2x is 24, x is 12. Now we need to substitute these into the first equation. So 36 plus 2y plus 25 has to equal 80. That means that 2y would be 80 minus 36 minus 25 and y is 9.5. So x is 12, y is 9.5 and z is 5. So a 2 pound coin weighs 12 grams, a 1 pound coin weighs 9.5 and, and a 20p weighs 5 grams. David has 20 2 pound coins. I'm going to say that A are counterfeit and B are real. That means that A plus B must equal 20. Counterfeit coins weigh 10 grams and we worked out that real coins weigh 12 and that total has to be 228. So if I multiply the first equation by 10, I have that 10A plus 10B has to equal 200. Subtracting those, it tells me that 2B has to equal 28 so B must be 14. So I have real 14 coins and counterfeit 6 coins.